Without further ado, it is my privilege, because usually this podcast is recorded in my dining room, to introduce the three ladies of I Don't Get It. We have Lauren, Ashley, and Naz. Oh, and we have a very special guest. You know her from the Bachelor franchise. She recently just got married to her wonderful husband, Chris. It is Crystal Nielsen. Well, that does it for me. Wow, this is really weird. Hi, guys. When I say I don't, you say get it. I don't. Get it. I don't. Get it. I wanted oh, to do that. I'm so good at emceeing. No, I'm just drunk. <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to be fun. Wow, this is wow. really crazy. I talk God. to a, like a machine every day in our kitchen, and this is who we talk to. Lauren's terrified. I right hate now. this every moment. <laughs> Everyone is so good looking. <laughs> wow, it's so pink in here. Hi, guys. All right, so this is the time where I say a few words, which is, um, I can't believe that a podcast that Naz and I started, um, we're on our fourth year, which is insane, which originated from the fact that Jared, that Jared and I, <laughs> we've just all been replaced She's, by Jared. She calls everyone life. Jared it's now. Fine. Everyone is Jared now. I'm Jared three. Um, what are you? Lauren's I'm Jared always two. Jared. <laughs> um, uh, sometimes Jared is Lauren, though. Anyway. It, it all originated because I had never had a boyfriend at the age of 28, and then here we are, and I'm married now, which is crazy. But it's crazy. Yay for Jared. Um, but I just want to thank you guys so, so much for listening to us for however long you've been listening to us. And, you know, for, like, feeling all the venting that we do and understanding the culture of I don't get it. And also, huge thanks to the W um, Los Angeles for hosting this today and our amazing sponsor, Amaryllis, who has made this place yes. so pretty for yes. us tonight. Thank, thank you, Amaryllis. And for our outfits. So thank you. Free clothes. And for the... And for the, all the candy over there, which honestly, if you want to stand up in the middle of this and get more candy, that is something I would do. So don't feel any and shame in doing it. that. <laughs> um, and also, thank you to I Buy Direct who's sponsoring this podcast. So thank Yay. you guys, and just like, but of course, thank you guys all so much for listening. Yeah, and just to echo what Ashley was saying, thank you for spending your Thursday night with us. We know you guys could literally be anywhere. Actually, let's be real. There's, like, nothing to do in L.A. on a Thursday night. Well, I like to think there's nothing to do ever, just ever, so that I can night. feel comfortable staying at home every yes. night. But. Yes, um, but just exactly what she said. Like, the fact that we started this because we didn't get how girls get boyfriends, and I feel like we've really made a business out of um, complaining. So this is our first official complaint conference. We can't <laughs> wait to hear your complaints. Um, but yeah, aside from that, just the community we built, who's in the Facebook group? Yeah. Like, thank you for all of your ideas on our blank <laughs> moments. Thanks for Honestly, being a focus group. I think we would have run out of ideas two years ago if it weren't for you guys. So thank you so much. And that group keeps growing. It's, it's, it's amazing to see over 10,000 people in there. And the fact that you guys just as I don't get it, people like us are just buying into the theory and the notion that we're the community that we built, which is like, we don't have it all figured out, right? Like, no one has it figured out. And the fact that you guys go on there and ask other people for advice that you've never met, mm -hmm. like, it just warms our hearts. So having said that, we can't wait to hear your I don't get it. So we have a mic up here. Um, so we're going to open it up really soon. So you guys can just come up and let's just ramble and complain and talk about shit we don't get. But before we do that, we have some life updates. <laughs> Okay. Um, um, I have a life update. Oh, okay. You got a yeah. life update. And then I think we'll go... Do you have go... a life update? No, no life updates. We're, okay. we're very boring now. But, um, <laughs> but I... <laughs> we'll announce uh, the, royal, the, the royal baby only, in the next the, live The podcast. only update anybody cares about with us is if there's a baby. So I will tease you guys until the day it comes. It comes. Oh, wow. Until the day you pee on that stick. Yeah. The day I pee on the Until the day you pop a human And I better be vagina. in that bathroom with Jared. Well, I better not be... Because that would be, be awkward, right? Yeah, Will you allow it? I think Jared's going to want it to just be the two of us. <laughs> okay, I'm in there, Jared. <laughs> I'm in there. The two of us. Well, Together. What, you want to be there when ever. I'm actually peeing? On yes. Peeing. Yes. But what if maybe like we just have you over immediately after? Fuck I feel that. like Lauren Fuck needs to that. be there because no. I can see you looking at the stick and being like, what does this mean? He's so is pissed. It, what is <laughs> <laughs> That's when Jared smiles with his mouth closed that you know he's annoyed. Okay. Yeah, well, it's like well, the go to hell smile. Okay. Go so, to hell. Okay, Naz, nice. your, um, your life your update. Your life update. Yeah, guys, and then I'm so... going to go down a row of I don't get it until we go to your I don't get it. Okay. So I'm very excited to announce that I have a boyfriend. 
Psych! Psych! <laughs> Happy Galentine's wow, Day! Wow, you guys are dumb as fuck. Yeah, no, it's yes. <laughs> that, I, was I like, just I miss saying psych! Everyone got so fucking excited. I know, excited everyone was so for excited for me. I feel like such an asshole. Wow. <laughs> Um, but that Aww. when that happens one day, I'll let you guys know. Hopefully, yes. yeah. I just wanted to have something to say. I know. Yeah. You know? I, was like, I can't believe she's about to lie. This no, time. I am. Uh, I am so happily single. It's great. I fart. No one smells it. And uh, <laughs> wait, I watch every single thing on Netflix, and I make money off of it. So it's great. There you go. When you guys listen to Monday's episode, you'll be able to hear Naz's new way of like calling a <laughs> booty call. <laughs> And It'll be helpful for all of you. Should I just people tell them? Should I just tell them what no, it did? I don't know. Should we wait? No, no it's, tune it's, in on Monday. We'll wait, we'll wait. Tune listen in on Monday. Yeah. It's a secret. Okay. Yeah, I'm still having sex, just no boyfriend. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, so my I don't get it for the day came up at dinner. Why Uh-oh. is pink lemonade better than yellow lemonade? <laughs> and why is there no such thing as pink lemons? And yet... Why does pink lemonade taste better when it's just some sort of artificial? It must be a color. coloring because it's artificial. No, but if it's an artificial color, they don't have taste. Crystal, Strawberry is a taste. health nut. Do you know? Sugar, sugar, more sugar, <laughs> more sugar, more processed food. Does anybody else agree with me that pink lemonade is better? Oh. By a show of hands. By a show of hands. Why don't they sell pink? Do, don't they sell it at Taco Bell? Yeah, but that's like, our home that's base. Like, yeah, but that's no Newman's pink lemonade. That's no new. That's no Paul Newman. Is his name Paul? Yeah, it's yeah. Paul. yeah, yeah. Why don't I know that? It's Paul, Paul Newman. Newman. Who's it's Paul pink. Newman? He's yeah, no like Arnold one of the most Palmer. Favorite act, one of the most legendary actors of all time. And he just made a pink lemonade. He did like a whole charity thing where he wow. has like taco mix and like different he has things. Taco he mix. has ranch dressing. You don't ranch. say. He has the wow. best. Oh, Caesar Newman's dressing. ranch. Yeah. It's the wow. best bottled Caesar dressing. <laughs> I don't know. Did I, am I the only one that didn't Ashley know that? knows everything <laughs> about food? Yeah, that's true. Is that your only I don't get it? Yeah, that is my I don't get it. Why I don't get it surrounding food? Um, I microwave something because I'm an incredible Taco. chef. And um, <laughs> Nas just made her first at home meal the other day with we me. We don't need to call me out. On don't that we not? Day. She made a Hello Fresh meal, and you guys, like, <laughs> she didn't even know how to boil water. Oh, no. Like, she was like, What do I her do? Her kitchen is very small. Yeah, though. she got it's a new so stove, small. though. I'm also, po- that's help why. me, I'm poor. Help me, I'm poor too. Yeah. <laughs> You're not poor. You have Ashley. I know. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Um, Thank God for Ashley. I microwave things all the time. <laughs> I throw them in the microwave. I throw the box away. And then I walk back to the garbage can every single time to, to read the door. Exactly. You got to keep that. <laughs> Am I not, do you do that? And sometimes like, in that box. Why do I do that? I don't how long get do it. I keep that in? What do I set it at? Yeah. But sometimes in that box is the thing you're supposed to cook it on. Like that special silver plate. Oh, well, I'm not that ratchet. That's yeah. all I ain't that ratchet girl. That's a hot pocket. I'm sorry. <laughs> Only lean cuisines, okay. Lauren. <laughs> okay. Um, that was mine. I had an I don't get it at dinner, but now I kind of forget it. Well, we'll it w- remember it. It was people not- paid for it. It was, um, <laughs> why would you ever cook a meal yeah. when you could just simply order it and make it taste better and be cheaper? Amen. Anyone else feel that way? You guys yeah. think because that- my friend Shay over there, she goes to the grocery store, and I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> I go to the grocery store, too, because I do like cooking at home because of what Crystal said. I know what's going in my food there, but, you know, I can only do that half the week. I know what's going in my food at Taco Bell. Tortilla, beef, cheese, lettuce, tomato, boom. Boom. Uh, ha, ha, boom. Ha, ha. boom. But what is in that meat? Boom. Who cares? It tastes amazing. All right, so I guess we're going to open it up to you guys. Ashley's all plant-based now, guys. She's so LA. I appreciate it, though. I think it's great for the environment, and I think you should all be plant-based. I'm not going to do it, but I think you should. I love the animals. It's for their souls. That's amazing. Not mine. Okay, ladies, listen up. Who doesn't love a new pair of shades? Thanks to I Buy Direct, every babe at the live podcast left with a pair of glasses. Haven't heard of them? I Buy Direct is all about premium designs that are totally on trend. Skip the trip to the local eyewear store and get your frames online. If you got vision problems, just plug in your prescription. Once you've picked a pair, you can customize your lens tent. Your lens tint. It's that easy. The only struggle is selecting just one style. I mean, it was love at first sight when we spotted their new heart-shaped collection with light pink and raspberry lenses. P.S. They're prescription friendly, so we almost forgot to mention the best part. All their glasses are so affordable, so you don't even have to feel guilty for treating yourself. So where can you get them? iBuyDirect.com. Once you've found the one you like, two or ten pairs, use our code GALS30 at checkout to get 30% off. 
Again, that's iBuyDirect.com with code GALS30 for 30% off. And if you want more exclusive offers, follow them on Insta at iBuyDirect and send a DM to get a surprise discount. E-Y-E-B-U-Y-D-R. Nope. D-I-R-E-C-T. Good job, Lauren. You're welcome. (laughs) Yeah. Okay, so um, you guys, we're going to do an open mic night. Whoever would like Is to come up to the enough? mic and give their "I don't get it," we would like. You or to we come can up pass right the mic now. around if you want to stay, stay in your seat. Yeah, we got come one. Come on, guys, gather From- around the cauldron. Yes, come on. This is my girl. Oh, oh her Courtney's hair look beautiful. Got a mic that's moving around. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Katie. Yes, Katie. Lauren does her hair. Yes, looks Lauren beautiful. does my hair. Oh, nice. <laughs> um. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, but I live in North Hollywood. And my get it is in reference to this week's bachelor. Okay. Why? No. I don't get why <laughs> Phrase having it properly. emotions means you're emotionally unstable. Well, it mm. doesn't. That's the Thank simple you. answer. Amen. Let's, get a, let's get a round of applause for that one. I wrote that on the little card, so if you get it, you can throw it away. Okay. Okay, Being cool. emotional doesn't <laughs> mean you're nuts. It doesn't mean you're unstable. It doesn't mean that you're about to have an emotional breakdown. It just means that you're expressive. And being expressive is healthy and very in a demonstration of your strength. I love that this is a thing now because I, I've read a lot of self-help books because that's what I do. <laughs> I'm so sad. And uh, growing up, I, I bought a lot of career ones. And a one that I bought, with, what's Kelly? Did anyone watch um, The Hills? Remember Kelly, the designer that Elsie worked for? What's her last name? <laughs> Kelly, what? <laughs> yeah, Kelly Catrone. So she wrote a book called If You Want to Cry, Go Outside. And I'll never forget I read that. And I started to suppress how I felt at because work. Because she didn't well, we, think you should Was cry. she working in, like, the fashion industry yeah, or something? Yeah, she's okay. huge so in the fashion industry. So it was big doubles where Prada sort of But mindset. in general, like, in any industry, I feel like we feel like we, as women, we have to sort of yeah. um, just put down all of our feelings. If we're mad at work, we can't cry about it or be upset about it because then it shows that we're weak. And I just, I remember thinking, like, actually doing that and then going back on that after I met you and worked on Bachelor, and I cry at work all the time, and I don't, I don't give a fuck what people think. They about can't it. fire. It you means if you cry. that I care so much, mm-hmm. and I'm upset about it. Yeah, and also, someone doesn't want to date a robot. I've heard that well, many some times. Some guys do. Like we were talking about this today on my access recap. Yeah, how so many guys um, get freaked out by emotion that they actually, like, start pushing people away. But I do see that on this season of The Bachelor, Peter, like, loves emotion. And if you cry to him, he's, like, all about you. So when do you open up with a guy, then? Is it it just the great guy you can open up, like, from the second one? Or is it... Uh, you know what I mean? If we I'm know you opened up right away, Talking obviously. politically incorrect, I would say definitely wait two months. <laughs> Lord, that's what you do, and I that's know. how you have someone all the time. And why I have boyfriends, I don't know. That or, makes me Or sad. just never. Just don't do it. Don't open up. Don't open up? Don't. No. You said that? That was me, I guess. <laughs> no, <laughs> I say open up. But this and the one that you this do way open up, and this The one way. that you do open up to will not run away from you. It's okay. Jared. Jared. Why are you panties? This is how I wake him up in the morning, guys. I, uh, I wake, and, like, he wakes up, like, an hour before me. And then I go, Jared, Jared. Where is he? And then, and then um, our dog. Probably hiding hear her nails. Exactly. She starts tapping to the room, and then he, then he follows her. And Aww. then they both jump on the bed together. That's very it's cute. Really well, he's cute. not coming to he's your right call there. this time. He's right there. He just said what? Oh, okay. I don't okay. see him. Baby. Yes. Courtney's going to give you the mic. Because I want to know from your perspective <laughs> when <laughs> girls should this start is how being every podcast emotionally <laughs> open because you don't you know because like you have a, a, a kind what? of now your her emotions kind of did they turn you <laughs> off in the beginning or did you yeah hope that she they waited were to they cry? were turn offs for Jared you. didn't have a choice they were stuck on a beach together what do you guys mean we all saw it. Listen, I got news for you. You guys are all talking at the same time. I can't understand one damn thing you're saying. <laughs> They're used to it. Guys, I'm so sorry. We do that all the time. Hold on. So work what? On are her, uh, Ashley's emotions, did it make me run away at did first? Did it turn yes, you off it the turn beginning? You off. And does it still turn you off? Yes, uh, it does. Am I an asshole if I say yes? No. Exactly. You're honest. It's fine. Absolutely. Oh, uh, I mean, yes, it, it did. Just because you're just, you, it's one of your best traits, but you're just so, like, you're a wave, you know? You're just yeah, coming, so- and there's nothing stopping you. So then what should girls do? Well, you don't give some guy a love fern on day one, but you can be <laughs> honest about what you like. I think exactly. there is... You could say, like, I'm looking for a husband. Yeah. Uh, 
I like you to... cried the first day we met. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot for anybody. To do. It was love at first sight, and there was another woman after you named Jade Roper. She was <laughs> never after you. That's Jared. so oh, awkward. That's shit. not. I, she always does this. That is not the case, everybody. She wasn't that after is him. not what happened. Was after her. Can we all just <gasps> sit? everyone shut the hell up? <laughs> Jared, that is not what happened. In the hot seat. You go down. It, why am I even trying to defend myself right now? This hey, is, you know what? I'm just married. kidding right now. I'm just joking. It's very funny. Jared, you get so into it. It's so cute. Who do I give this mic to? <laughs> Does anyone else have an I don't get there it? There we go. Okay. Yeah. Right here. Be on this court. topic forever. Yes. Someone give this. Basically, cry if you feel like crying and don't worry about it. And if you cry right here, fuck and yeah. And the thing is, if he doesn't like it at first, you're going to end up getting him anyway. Or right, babe? if he doesn't like it, then he can go fuck himself. <laughs> Where's um, your name and where are you from? Hi, my name is um, Alexis and I'm from Downey, California. Cool. Hi. Oh, thanks for driving here. Yeah. I actually moved to Diamond Bar, so it was even farther. Oh, oh damn. How long did you take you to get here? And two hours. Oh, Thank wow. you. Yeah. Um, thank you. My I don't get it is I don't get, um, what was I'm sorry. I don't get mixed signals. Um, um Jared? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we're not going to Jared for this one. <laughs> mixed signals. Are we friends? Are we more than friends? Why do you hang out with my family oh. if we're just friends? If I wrote a book, I feel like it'd be called Living in the Gray because I've never lived more in what the fuck are we and never, yeah. I've to this now day, I don't part. know how to act. I've yeah. met the guy that broke my heart. You guys know him as Life Ruiner. <laughs> um, I just, I met his parents and I literally thought we were it and we dated for six months and it's just, it is the worst, absolute heart-wrenching feeling not knowing if someone likes you back. And unrequited love is like, just such a big reason for heartbreak and i just feel for and stand for people like that but i don't get it either but but being on the other side have you ever liked someone that you've sort of not like that much and you've given mixed signals yeah i feel like at the beginning yeah but at the end of the day i've been straight up with the people Mm. because i know what it feels like to be led on like that and i don't want that person to feel like that you're a good person yeah you're a good person the world is filled of shitty people i feel like maybe i am that shitty person you are the shitty person <laughs> and I, d- I don't want to hear from the shitty person uh, hey um i don't want to hurt people any fr- like i don't want to hurt people so i don't want to tell them you know so like, why do you i want to give them a little bit to feel happy but then also i don't want like a full-blown relationship you know so I understand trying not to hurt someone, but also hurting them more at the same time. That's something that I'm definitely trying to learn. So maybe this person, whoever it is, needs to man up and be a little bit more like you two, and less like me. It's, at the end um, of the day, been it's about almost them. two years. Two I, years? Yeah. Well, honey, you got to cut that cord. So, have you had any nobody physical got contact? Huh? Any physical contact? <laughs> No. no, he's never. met my family. He hang, he wants to hang out with Have my family. Have we talked about this before? No. Have you told him that you like him? Yes, I did actually. And what oh. was his response? He said um, he thanked me and he appreciates me telling me that because it's something that's obviously hard. Aww. But he wasn't looking for a relationship at the moment. But he's okay. not going to let that stop us from hanging out. So then, I've, what when you got that information? What did? How did you feel? What did I, that tell you? I took it as okay. I'm gonna give you, but it's hard. We work together. Ah. Uh. Is Do you see his like, cute ass face every day? Yes, and he works in my department now, which is worse. I helped him Ooh. get the job. Is your family like dope? Get like, him fired. Awesome get him fired. <laughs> it's a good nah, job. Nah, stop that. You, I brought you into this world. I'm going to take you. <laughs> now listen, I, Jared says, like, Jared and I have a big argument over mixed signals versus um, leading on. So, like, I kept using the expression. I thought they were the same. And I kept using the expression leading on. Um, but leading on is more like when you have the... In- well, you have no intention on ending up being with that person, and yet you're, like, showing, like, yeah. kind of, like, interest in them. Um, and then mixed signals, he says, is, like, that person is confused, and they don't know what they want. And that's what he was with me. So if you're, um, if the guy that you're with is truly giving you mixed signals, then I would say if you just kind of, like, cut off the friendship and you see like how he deals with life without you That's that good. might give you a better answer how yeah. does she cut off the friendship if she sees him at the fucking don't hang out with him after, hours. after no hours no after hours so he's like coffee or cream and she's like mm. <laughs> no no coffee just just cream. like as like you know <laughs> as so cold stupid. as you as cold as you can be without being ri- rude just like neutral what if you talk to him about didn't we have someone on the podcast recently guys and you guys would know that faked remember when we did the catfish episode and someone faked having 
another person yeah. to message yeah. them? Yeah, 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 yeah. What if you fake Pretend a boyfriend. someone and talk to him about liking someone else and then just... Just stir it up. Just see what he... Don't, yeah. don't follow any of what I'm saying. Don't do any of this. Yeah, Nest is taking this to an extreme. Let's just see what he does when you I'm give him I'm just saying you're bored. Shoulder. You work with him. Let's fit. Let's make... It the thing have... is, I'm not bored. I enjoy spending time with him yeah. at this point. It's just like, if at this point, I've accepted the friendship. But obviously, if he's down, I'm down. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck with Thank that. You. And t take I my know. advice. Um, <laughs> stick around forever. <laughs> Who else has... Oh, Crystal, Crystal has advice. Thanks. I want to say that the best thing you can do in that situation is it sounds like he's not giving mixed signals. He's just, you know, not interested. And yeah, what you like can do you is you just fucking love yourself and be confident in your skin. You show up at work, you know, just exuding that aura and that essence of just like, I'm a badass bitch and you missed yes. out, buddy. Mm -hmm. And you just go and show that aura and that confidence takes you so far. Yeah. You're going to mm -hmm. rock it. Yeah. yeah. Don't listen to me. That's listen to Crystal. Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> we don't we don't get it. We don't have a podcast anymore. We but we'll it. bring people she on the podcast that'll it. give you great advice. <laughs> okay. Anyone else have an I don't get it? I don't get it in the back. Okay. Oh, great. Hello. 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 Hi. What's, Hello. Your name? What's your name? What's your name? Where are you from? My name's Bree, like the cheese. Mm. Um, oh. Love Spell a good like cheese. cheese. I love it. <laughs> I am. I live here in Hollywood, but I am from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. Are you a Patriots fan? Um well, I don't She's a Tom Brady like, fan. watch sports, but yes. Okay. I'm yeah, kind of clarifying. in it for like the mass hole community vibe. Okay. Yes. You know? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, mass hole. Woo. Um, so I've had a couple of instances in my life where I form this like emotional bond with a guy. We become friends. I wouldn't even say friends because there's kind of that same like mixed signal thing going on. You're just like, what's going on here? And then like one day they'll casually bring up their girlfriend and I'm just like, Wh what? So I don't get that. I feel like they thought you may be cool with being a side chick for a little bit. Have you done that? And then that? they realize that you can't be. Have you done that to someone? Oh, my God. I'm gonna... You've done that to someone? No, I yeah, haven't. Have. No, I'm just... I think that may be the situation, okay? What do you oh, think? Okay. What, when you hear that. I don't know. I feel like Lauren might be right. They hit the girlfriend. Chat. Usually if you have a girlfriend you're obsessed with her and you want to be with her forever, you're going to bring her up in the first day. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So they wanted to see That's how true. far you would go. Yeah. Guy, yeah. Are you yeah. seeing... Yeah, you could say, are you seeing someone? Yeah. 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 yeah how far in do you realize this? Well... <laughs> if it's the, over two days, then it's too much. I would agree. Uh, yes. Longer than that. Okay. Much longer. Yeah. What and it's say? happened a couple of times. I've just, I've just kind of cut them off, like giving yeah. them the cold yeah. shoulder and That's just been like, all right, bye. Guys just like the attention. So even if they don't have an intention to actually cheat with you, I do feel like they ha like want to have that like work life where it's like almost a little flirtation, a little attention that can right. work. And both and like a couple of these instances have been at work. Yeah, I think yeah. I would go yeah. as far to say that women do that too. Mm. And it's not just a man yeah, of thing. Of course. It's yeah. But it's yeah. like it's a some deliberately yeah. hiding, like... At, like talking to each other about our holiday yeah. plans, showing each other our pets. Like, well, all I, I bring this up <laughs> to you because things. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> I have a girlfriend that does this, um, and she is in an open relationship, mm -hmm. so she's allowed to do that. So but maybe... it's all up to finding if that person is okay with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe they wanted you to like fall in love with them or have like a deeper connection like you had and then be like, oh, well, since I like you that much, then I might as well go ahead and do whatever they want to do. Or maybe you know? they just wanted you to suck their cock. I mean, we'll never exactly. know. Wow. <laughs> There's a lobby out you there. You know what? Oh, my God. <laughs> Penis. Okay. Well, that's my take on it. I think Great. I'm right. I don't Thank get you. it. <laughs> Thank you, Brie. Thanks, guys. Next, I don't get it. <laughs> Anyone or else? venting, or we can read from the jar. Ring on the podcast recently. I know it was on a recorder. Oh, okay, and sorry. people listen to okay. it in private. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> should, okay. we, should we go ahead and bring <laughs> Crystal up? No, 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 no. Wait, no, we have some more. I don't get it. I don't see some more. I don't get it. Any? I don't get it. Or like just something to vent about. Guys. I haven't. I don't get. Well, you guys tell me. I don't get why I feel like sometimes I like people that um, are in relationships. I don't know if you guys ever feel that You're way, but drawn sometimes, to in sometimes I get down on myself because I feel like. I hope this isn't the case, but sometimes I think, well, do I just like this person because I can't have them? Well, people and always that's say... that's really annoying. What do you... People always say that, like, people, that guys wearing wedding rings are more attractive than guys who aren't, and that's because it symbolizes that they can commit and that, like, 
you know, it's like what they say in The Departed. Mm. I'm sorry, babe. What do they say in The Departed? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody can stand the son of a bitch. Someone can and, like, stand the son of a bitch. Yeah, get, like touches yeah. his. Someone can stand us, have sex with the son of a bitch. Yeah, or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it shows stability. But yeah. I also think it. I mean, if we want to get psychological about yeah. it, if you only are attracted to guys that are unavailable, then that's sort of an issue. That's not the case with me. But I feel like sometimes when I know, I think it's the fact that I'm like, oh, this is like such a great person. They're such a great catch, and like someone caught him. You know, mm, yeah. yeah, yeah, but it sucks. But it sucks. I don't. I don't get it. You're not. I don't want to. I don't want to feel that way. They're confident. Maybe, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not because you're scared to be in a real, true relationship. It no. could be that no. too, though. I mean, I hope not. I don't, I don't know. So. I don't know. No, I, I don't used to like so. unattainable guys because I think I was scared to be in a relationship. Yeah, maybe you would set your sights maybe so weirdly high. Yeah, but I would get them. On a, I do whatever. I want. Okay, well, you have an, an issue. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. You have lipstick all. Thank you. Why are you telling me this now? Here. I just realized. I was, you know, it's the in whole, the shape of the microphone. The whole time I was like, <laughs> I think I'm talking too close. I think I'm talking. <laughs> you are. Look at the color of this. Okay. Any I don't get it from Courtney the audience? Over there. Courtney, yeah. the oh, hell yeah. A couple more. No, you're good. I fixed it. Hi, my name is Chandler. Hello. I'm from Sarasota, Florida. And so... I moved out here four years ago, and when I moved out, there was a guy I was talking to for a while, but we weren't boyfriend-girlfriend. We moved out. We kept talking. I invited him on my family vacation, and he had talked about moving out, and then he lived in Florida where I still, or my family lived, and he would hang out with my family and got close with my younger sister. Oh, no. God, no. And so this was four years ago. (laughs) She called me. I was watching Bachelor at that time, actually. It was funny. And I knew she had a crush on him. And she told me that he had asked her on a date. She just graduated high school. He's, like, eight years older than her. Oh, no. Um, This is, like, little women, right? (laughs) (laughs) It's, like, 27 dresses, kind of. Yeah, it's, like, 27 dresses, yeah. So we didn't, like, her and I, I, I cut off connection with him. He wanted to talk, and I just couldn't. Um, he wanted to continue to be friends with you? He wanted to have a conversation about it. And I figured they'd break up. Um, so moving forward. They're engaged. They got married a month ago. Bless you. <gasps> no. Yeah. So I, she's my little sister. And Aww. him and I don't talk. But I have tried to move on for it, like for her. But... I guess I have like missed family vaca- or holidays and vacations just because it's hard to be around him. Mm. So I, I don't get how to move past it for my, like to have a relationship mm-hmm. in the future. Cause I, I've gone out with people, but haven't actually been able to have a, when you see him, relationship. do you still feel feelings? I feel nothing. You do feel now. nothing. No. Yeah. When you see him. Yeah. It took okay, well, two that's years, good. but mm-hmm. now I feel I feel nothing. like you need to- yeah, so it kind of feels like he was waiting for her to graduate high school and kind of using me. It's it's really weird, I know, but yeah. I feel like you do need to have that conversation with him, just you too. Yeah, Maybe. you have to hash out like literally everything he ever said to you and like what it meant to him and what it meant to you and like kind of get to the root of it. What's your best case scenario? I feel like there isn't one. God, like, would, so it, would it be to be with him? Like, is that... No, oh, okay. no, no. I hate him. Like, I feel like she okay. could have done so much better. Wow. I don't hate him anymore. I don't hate him anymore. That is so difficult. Yeah. yeah. Thank I you don't... for sharing that, because yeah. that is something very personal that yeah, you... Yeah, I've never and that's really what I said it out this. loud, which is why... Mine is to, like, my close friends and yeah. my parents and my sister, but not him. What and... do your parents think? Um... My mom was in love with him, so she told me, she was like, I just wanted him to marry one of my daughters. Uh, so, fuck you, mom. Our relationship oh wasn't God. the best. Damn after that. it. My dad felt really bad for me, and yeah, he told me when they got engaged, he was like, Well, you could have told me when they first started dating, and I would have made her not date him. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. How so was the you're wedding? Not, you're still not able to go on vacation. Did really you give drunk. a speech at the wedding? <laughs> drunk? I did. I don't remember it. She. <laughs> Me either. I thought it was good, actually. <laughs> so. 
You're still not able to go on family vacation? But we weren't, like, official. We had been talking. I lived out here. You so guys talked talking. for two years? Mm-hmm. Oh, he was talking about difficult. moving out here. Crystal, do you have he any didn't. advice for this? Okay, Crystal's going to... She Our spiritual Hi, mecca what's is up, going guys? to... Let I do. I want to say that, number one, it never feels good to be rejected at all. Right? Amen. Yeah. Never feels good. Amen. Something that I use personally, like when I was when I got out of a really toxic, shall we say, relationship, um, there was a lot of hurt, unleft words, but I wasn't able to have a conversation with this person. So what I did was a strategy where I journaled a letter to this person and I just cried like Ashley. <laughs> like I just cried it all out on that pen to paper and just let it all the unspoken words kind of gave them a voice where I was really hurt. And then the second part, which is the most critical part, was that on another piece of paper, I actually wrote a letter from his perspective to me where I was able to see things from his perspective. And so I was able to see where there were areas I was perhaps blaming and where I needed to take responsibility and kind of understand from his point of view. And that for me was a really healing process. So I would highly suggest that plus journaling is awesome and I've worked so much issues out through it and then if if you feel the need to have a conversation one-to-one talk to your sister about it first and just let her know some stuff's kind of coming up I just feel a little hurt and give yourself a voice and let your be true to your heart because it feels hurt and nothing is ever worth closing off your heart ever I, I wish that. you so much luck. You're going to rock. You. You're going to be great. And, mm-hmm. and don't piggyback off your family. Off that, I, um, I actually wrote a letter, too, to, to the guy that hurt me in this meditation challenge I did. But it told me to write down all my bad feelings first on a piece of paper and then thank them in the letter. So maybe that could also offer, like, some perspective of, you know, bringing him back in your life. But, Crystal, let's bring you up. Wait, wait, wait. Can I? No, no, no. Wait. Wait. No? No? What? No, I'm saying it's oh. time. Oh, oh, it's it is time. time. It is time. Crystal, for wait, Crystal. can I just say one more thing? I just feel like you don't want to look back on this and regret not, like, waste, wasting this time um, not being on great terms with your family and, like, feeling weird about your sister. So, like, even though right now it's still going to hurt and it's probably going to be weird for so many years, you'll never want to, like, look back on this in, like, 30 years and be like, remember that wasted time. So, if anything can help speed up the process, it might be that. Yay. Yay. Thank you so much for sharing that. And Crystal, ah, everyone. So what's, up? Woo! Woo! what's up? Hi. What's up, guys? <laughs> Thank you so much for driving up. You guys, I took the train up here. Oh, oh, thank you so much right. for taking the train. Yes, five hours ago, I did not look like this. I would just like to shout out uh, to my hairstylist, <laughs> Tiffany May, and Amaryllis for giving me this dress, which I put on in the Super bathroom. Super yeah, yeah. yes. She really got up from the right? dinner table, and we're all like, oh. <laughs> What? She looks so good. It's painful. We were happy Just for you. Some makeup and hair, guys. <laughs> it's your like your butt too. And some tanner. <laughs> okay, so Crystal is like you guys. Like you, you don't know her. She's full of spirit, and she is like the most energetic person I know. I don't know how you give yourself the discipline to work out and eat like you do. Like what? stops you from saying like I'm gonna postmate this or like I'm gonna sit on the couch with this tonight like because that's the my favorite part of my day oh you, you know I just live by the 80 20 rule like I'm not 100 percent all the time yeah but, but I like, can be 80 percent of the time I'm trying to be 50 50 yeah <laughs> it just comes down to I just did a talk um called breaking bad habits and essentially what they found is there was a study with 96 people. They studied for 12 weeks and they found out how long did it actually take them to break a habit. And it's not 21 days. It actually varied between 21 and 90. But the average was 66. And it depended on three factors. It was the motivation for the change, like your reason like why this is important for you, um, the duration of the habit, and then, Michelle, what was the third one? I know you watched the video. Yes, you did, girl. I'm quitting you. Michelle. Damn, you called out one, one of my clients and friends here. Yeah, she's enjoying <laughs> a beverage. And it was, I can't remember either. <laughs> it was really good. It was the duration of the habit. It was the reason why. And it was, what was that third one? Uh, yeah, it'll come to me. But it, it's an internal motivation. I'm sure when you're prepping for your wedding, you are highly motivated to, yeah, for, to make say, good choices. I always say I wish I was getting choices. married so I'd lose those 10 pounds yeah. that I just want. But like... I'm still yeah. being able to hook up with people. So it's <laughs> I know. It's like when they and stop wanting you, you have to stop eating. <laughs> I think you just really look at, for me personally, it's um, 
I wasn't always into health and fitness. I was actually really unhealthy. I drank a lot. I ate a lot of really shitty foods. I worked at a Wood Ranch Barbecue and Grill. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I took home baby back ribs and mac and cheese <laughs> and that peanut coleslaw every single night. And what, ha- what I was doing that was I was really just masking a lot of uh, feeling a void. I felt I just moved out to L.A. and I was just so depressed and lost from who I was and that light that I had um, and I was masking it by drinking and eating and just doing bad habits. And ultimately, I realized in a yoga class that I just wasn't living a life of potential and showing up in this world who I wanted to be. And so that, for me, was really internally motivating of, like, my family depends on me. Like, I know I'm meant to impact people's lives in a positive way. And I have to show up for myself first. And so I just kind of started building it very slowly into a lifestyle. And now it's just been seven years and I just hang out with people and talk about it so you broke the 66 day habit and then you've been on it for seven years so that's pretty incredible you just build it into a lifestyle you know I still I still watch the bachelor and drink wine and have you know healthy cookies but they're healthy cookies I just find healthy healthy substitution that was the third thing Um, was a healthy substitution it's just why it's important to you so okay, so my neck. Oh, yeah. sorry. Does so. now it feel bad to eat regular cookies? Like, does that feel foreign to you? <laughs> it feels really good. <laughs> oh, it feels good. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, and you I don't feel guilty you'd say about it, feels it. Bad. Like, you just don't feel guilty about it. Okay. I think my biggest issue is usually like social eating. Like, because how do you socialize and then not get tempted by the menu or not get tempted what your friends order as an appetizer? Or in our case, like, how do you not get tempted about what, like, your husband's going to eat? Because, like, I'll be like, I'm going to make a salad in this tonight. And then he'll be like, oh, well, I need something more, like, substantial. And, like, I'm like, okay, so then you can have the pizza. (laughs) And then I'll just sit here with the salad. Like, I don't think I'll ever be okay with that. You don't have to be. If, if that doesn't make you happy, then don't do it. Oh, okay. Don't eat the salad, Ashley. Oh, okay. Do you just say, oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> so it's like having thin arms or the, uh, the alternative, you know? Like, which one makes you happier? I think at the end of the day, if you're happy, it doesn't matter. Yeah. But if it's something that you, you look truly down at your want to do... <laughs> then you should absolutely do it. I then think Nike, what, just do it. You yeah, know? what we were but talking about said earlier done, is like... Because what is a healthy cookie really, right? Like, oh, she really does eat healthy cookies. She gave one me one. That word ate. healthy should never go before the word cookie. Like, what is that? Is it from Why Whole am I Foods? having a deja vu right now? You like uh, your Air One cookies. I'm like in your ear like, eat the cookie. Well, like tonight, like we came out to dinner and I brought my digestive enzymes by Garden of Life <laughs> yes, and shared them those. with the table. Yeah. Um, you know, I just think ultimately like whether you want to dance or you want to pursue a career or you want to eat healthy because you want to feel good or have energy or have, you know, attract that smoking hot guy. It's just, um, it's internally motivated. So whatever floats your boat, just do what makes you feel good, love yourself and honor your journey along the way. Love it. Are you cool if I move on from yeah, food? Yeah, yeah. Yes, more? please. <laughs> it's hard for me um, not to talk about food. Crystal, a question that I've actually been dying to ask you, obviously a you, so many people have asked you about your voice, um, especially because of, you know, the podcast and a topic that we've talked about a lot on our podcast. And the I'm a title little of the one with I'm Kevin a little McDonald's. triggered because someone wrote in one day and I don't believe them. But they said that because Ashley and I and Lauren have like deeper octaves in our voice, that's like harder for men to sort of be attracted to us. To Maybe you haven't voices. had boyfriends so, because you have low voice. <laughs> told us oh to try. God, that's so judgmental. Yeah. And so should I, should I raise my voice? Um, I think you should be who you fucking are. Okay, and like, stop trying to change yourself so that other people like you. But and does I, I it work? This. But does it And work? I want to say this. You know what? It's so funny because today I was, exp- I was kind of, I was journaling and did my meditation. I was thinking back about my time on The Bachelor. Yeah. And who watched that? My season. Okay. Woo. <laughs> Hi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Hi. So you know, that was, that was amazing. That was and amazing. so going into it, you know, I did lose my voice. Like I had been, I work as a motivational coach with Orange Cherry Fitness. I did. And to make up for going potentially two months with no money, I was barely making enough money to pay my bills as was. I, I started coaching extra classes, working with extra clients, and my voice is my tool to inspire and motivate. And I really, really taxed it going on to the show. And so, yeah, I compensated a little bit trying to speak a little softer, which 
hearing it back was a bad choice. <laughs> but it was something I was super insecure about. And to, like, have it played out on national television, like, something I was, like, to people hate you because of the way you talk was really hard. But I realized today that that was such a metaphor of my life where doing things that made me feel good, like using my essential oils or burning my sage or doing my affirmations, I hid all that stuff because I was so afraid that people would see that and I'd be like the smelly oil girl, like the hippie That's or the girl that talks Lord to herself me. in the That's year. literally what they call me. Yeah, and I was so afraid you what, call me what granola. people would think of me. You're Tending to be a little more granola, but I don't hate but, on it. But you realize when you, what I realize is when you try to change who you are because of what you're, of what you're thinking other people will think of you, mm-hmm. for you to be accepted and feel loved, you lose all your power. And that, that experience yeah. taught me that, like brutally taught me that. And so you just have to be true to who you are yeah. and like fuck everyone else if they don't like it they don't have to like you but like you gotta love yourself and like that's all that matters like you and your relationship with god and who you are with your family and how you show up in this world amen, I amen. Love that. can i get amen on a thursday amen. <laughs> um i also it wanted, is thursday right? i also wanted to ask <laughs> you i thought an interesting part of your story with chris was um you've opened up previously about how you guys broke up right before you got married. I know it was like within the six month range, you, you'll tell us what it actually was, but talk to us about just sort of that line where it's like, you're almost not together, but then you're like married. Cause I'm sure a lot of people go through that. I wouldn't know what that feels like, but I would imagine that's a very scary sort of situation, like line to ride. I think that for Chris and I, I mean, I think Ashley can relate being on the show. You feel this incredible magnitude of pressure of these expectations of you and this pressure to form this relationship so quickly and I mean we did and we really connected because of our stories and as we kind of came into the real world um which is a funny thing to say that's so true (laughs) you uh start to uncover things about each other and almost like reverse dating and for Chris and I we were just kind of seeing what brought us together was our past, but we realized those were also major triggers for us. We were triggering each other. And for us, it's, our relationship has been truly coming together for us to develop as better people. And it, there was a point where we just weren't sure if that was going to bring us together, break us apart. And we just took some space to figure it out, but ultimately decided, like, my God, we are here to be each other's biggest teachers and we decided to join forces and continue th- and forge through life. So it was a tough time, but we learned and grew so much. And, like, we still are. And marriage isn't easy. And But you just try to be the best person you can be. And I think what I've realized for myself is that you got to treat your husband like a friend, like your best friend. And come to him without having these expectations of what they do, but really just cheerleading them on through life. And that's what I've been learning. Yeah. You're an incredible person. Yeah. I hope you're like so proud of you. Really, you are. You you have like this light that just like shines from inside of you. And it's just, I, we haven't spent that much time together, but like it's, it's just really like incredible yeah. to witness in person. It's hypnotizing. Yeah. Thank I you guys. It. Yeah. I drink a uh, green juice oh, <laughs> every day. That's, that's, a drop. that's a green juice. That's what it is. <laughs> Wait, what about your enzyme pills? And what do those do? <laughs> <laughs> Digestive enzymes. <laughs> Michelle, I'm going to pass the microphone. <laughs> She's about, yeah. We are all going to buy these digestive enzymes. Um, but there's also a program, right, that you oh, yeah. Tell us about your program. Tell us about, yeah. Oh, Among yeah. other amazing things that you do, like yoga for homeless, and just, you guys Google it. She's awesome. Oh, thank you guys. So I found my voice, we can say, and also who I was um, going through that process in L.A. that I talked about, right, when I was eating and drinking all the time. And fitness was a way that I got back in touch with falling in love with me and um, just feeling good and sharing that. And so over the years, it's really developed into my TBG, which stands for Total Body Guide program, um, where I create these workouts and I work with primarily women, some men now too. We've expanded a lot on empowerment and education and teaching them the core principles of self-love, of education. And I actually have one of my clients who's become one of my great friends right here in the room, Michelle Lee King. We're going to actually, can we pass her the microphone? I'm going to put her on the spot. <laughs> Courtney, Jared, Jared, where's Jared? 
Because I would love, can you like share from a, a client perspective? TVG. 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 Oh my God, I actually need Babe, a Babe, you're being put on the phone. spot? I think you are. Share what? Just the whole program? Yeah. So it's, it's not about just working out. It's not about just fitness. Wait, it's... can we give Michelle a round of applause, you guys? Woo! We're putting her on this. Oh, looking good. <laughs> yes. Um, because you've been with TBG for how long? This is my, sadly to say, this is my ninth round. No, wow. I'm not sad to say. I'm very proud to say this is yeah, my ninth round. Yeah, I like how you took that back. Ten yeah. if you count the meditation challenge. So, yeah, I've been here since the beginning, since your first round. So, yeah. Can you tell um, us about your 100 push-up challenge? Uh, it, like I said, it's not just about workouts. It's not just about fitness. It's always a, it's about mindset and emotional. Uh, it, overcoming your obstacles, honestly, what, what Lauren just said, what she said about Crystal, it is Crystal 24-7, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And she is your biggest cheerleader. She talks about her husband being, no, she's every one of us. She's got our backs every day. But when I first joined the program was October of 2018, and I did 10.8. And the first challenge was do 100 push-ups. I'm a 47-year-old woman. <laughs> was a year ago. Now I'm 48. There was no 100 push-up. I couldn't do one push-up. I couldn't do one push-up on my knees. It was sad. So she jumps on live and says, hey, if anybody's around the area, come by and say hi. I did. We met. We've become friends since. But I said I quit the program basically that day other than just the cooking. And she taught me how to cook and introduce good foods. But the next round... Her mom was on there and said, oh, you know, I lean up against the wall or I start on the couch or whatever. And I was like, oh, my God, I can do that. So she went on live to do her, her Facebook live to do her push-ups. I went to the bathroom at work in a dress yes. and said, I'm going to do this. And I did it on a bathroom sink. And it was about down to here. But I did all 100. Nice. Got on Facebook yeah. Live. 100 yeah. push-ups, yeah. And got on Facebook Live and bawled like a baby. Same thing happened with the one mile. I've never run a day in my life. I did the one mile. Next two weeks later, I did the three miles. Because she builds you up mm -hmm. to be able to do that. She prepares you awesome. mentally. Awesome. It's not about you your body. You need to go coach on mentally. Navarro's cheer yeah. team. Yeah. Uh, I want to go on the biggest right. loser, y'all. I'm just going to put oh that out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's your next thing. I'm going to put guys, it out. She needs to be on the biggest loser. Yeah, can I put a petition for that? But I think that, uh, just to recap, thank you so much, Michelle, for sharing that. I love you dearly so much. But life, The Bachelor for me, was a shitty experience. But, like... 100 push-ups, The Bachelor, not having a voice. Like, all these are challenges for us to overcome to build our strength and our character. And I think if we can just flip that perspective and view life that way, we can become so empowered to just go after the guy, the, the book that we want to write, the dreams we want to have, and live that life of incredible magnitude. Thank you for sharing all this. You're ama you really are amazing. Um, oh, so if anyone wants to join Recent Rebalance, uh, you, you can just go to the Instagram link in my bio because yeah, that program go, is running right now. Just go right to her Instagram. It's, it's all there. And then you can watch some videos and be like, okay, I'm, I am motivated already. Um, so before... Or just watch the Super Bowl halftime show. <laughs> I want... <laughs> I'm second. I go want on, Crystal to stick so around good. as we go through some anonymous. Oh. Um, I don't get it because some people are too shy. And I'm going to go through a couple. Is that okay, Court? And, yeah. then, um, and then some of them okay. are like maybe dirty, which is fun. And they're in the jar. So I'm let's go pick through this. a couple of them. Go we'll, then we'll do a Q&A. Yeah. Okay. I don't get how people don't sweat from their armpits. <laughs> hand you should have read from the jar all night. Um, hand sanitizer, how it works, and how people can <laughs> eat slow, and they don't get Taylor Swift haters. So that's a whole bunch. Yo, I don't get hand issues. sanitizer okay, either. What is that shit? Don't sweat from their armpits. I Botox. Botox. That's the only reason. Yeah. Um, sure and dry. How, you don't know how hand sanitizer works? I Science? No, what is what is hand sanitizer? Like alcohol killing germs? Crystal? Crystal, it, it do you know? It good and bad bacteria. Okay. And then how people eat slow. I hate slow eaters, Jared Haben. Jared Haben. <laughs> He's eat talking faster. Try. I don't know how people can have conversations why, uh, while a plate is oh. sitting in front of you. Oh, guys. it's the bread. You know that I've talked about this, but it's like if I'm at dinner with Jared 
and he's in the middle of a conversation and he'll the waiter put his comes fork down. and he like places the food in front of him. <laughs> he'll continue the conversation until he's done and then like he'll still stay engaged with me and he's keeping a plate full of food untouched. One Dude, time, it's like when you go to the grocery store and you're having a conversation they saw bagging your groceries and you're like, can you just bag and <laughs> yeah. bag and yeah, continue bag and the it. conversation? But honestly, Jared, the disrespect. But one time, yeah, disrespect. one time, the bread. a waiter was coming with our food, and Ash, before the waiter put the food down, she grabbed a motherfucking <laughs> mozzarella so stick from the plate before they put it down. So that is Ashley. <laughs> no, no, no shame in her Grab game. another one. That's funny. That was a good one. Let's see. This is perfect for me to read. Why the Bachelor considers Cleveland a destination? Ah, <laughs> that's amazing. Money, money. Okay, that's the you guys. Answer. They, um, you know, like the American tourism places will pay the Bachelor to bring them there. That's why there's been random destinations like Richmond, Virginia, Whoa. and like, sh- like Charlotte. North Carolina. It's just like honestly, I up. love those episodes because I I don't want to pay to go to Cleveland. So thank you for showing yeah. me what it is and if I need to go. <laughs> That's true. This you know what I mean? So true. This one's like <laughs> I I only know how I don't get how to play hard to get, and I don't either. I definitely don't. I think if anybody who's watched The Bachelor, they know that I don't know how to play hard to get. The only time I can play hard to get is when it's not a game and I truly don't like the guy. Okay, the simple, it's very simple. Never, ever, ever text them first. Never. That's the rule. Okay? Don't do it. Never text them first. Wait for them. And then you will get them. They will be your boyfriend. And then you got to ignore it for like at least one to two hours. (laughs) Eh, you can almost just wait. Be like, oh, she didn't even think to text me. That's so great. It could, you can respond immediately. Like, oh, she was on her phone and she wasn't texting me. That almost works better. I don't have better. the energy like for this Like, you read game. it yeah. and then just, like, bubbles and then delete. Bubbles, whatever. Like, I don't even care. Yeah, <laughs> you'll get them. Torture. So, you want to pick one? Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay. I don't get what to do for a bachelorette weekend. San Diego. Oh. Who's in San Diego? I'm in San Diego. Yeah! What to do? You you know what you do? You go to Stand. what's that place with the mechanical bull? Saddle double ranch. deuces. Oh. Oh. You go to double. You put on cowgirl theme outfit. You go to double deuces and it's, ride that mechanical bull. It's the only place that I think is like fun to go out to. And there's moonshine no. flats where you can oh, go moonshine line flat. dancing. That's what I thought. Really fun right concert. They're really close to each other. You just go to gas line. Or you that stay inside and wear pajamas and not waste your friend's money. And you get probably massages don't want to be in the wedding the house anyway. And pizza. And bond. <laughs> I don't know. Make s'mores in the microwave and like actually talk to your friends. That's true. You know what I did? That's what for I my would bachelorette. Do. Chris and I had like a co-ed because we had like thirty days notice of our wedding. <laughs> so we we're like, let's just do like a co-ed bachelor bachelorette party. And we invited a bunch of people. Um, and we all dressed white. We looked like the Backstreet Boys. There was like thirty of us, <laughs> and it was awesome. And we went to Bang Bang and had like sushi all before. And then we went to Omnia, and uh, I can't remember who was DJing, but it was really fun. I just recommend wearing earplugs because I couldn't hear for like four days after that. Yeah, that'll be fun though. And stay hydrated. Really hydrated. I want to get to yeah. the bottom. I love how you threw that in there. <laughs> oh, we got a question and I don't get it? Go to Short Club. Short Club? Oh, I haven't been to Short Club. That's right on the beach, right? Yeah. Go to the dog beach. Short Club. It doesn't get more lit than a dog beach. That's true. Is that with the true. rooftop by Firehouse? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, our, I, our next I don't get it is people who don't want or like traveling and that's kind of funny because Naz loves traveling and I do not like yeah, traveling and, and Jared and I are pretty tired like, of it I, we, we'd rather stay home why would you I don't get it uh, why would you want to leave your the comfort of why your home why would you not want to see the world and I don't know like see, I there's a look t- at the same wallpaper I don't know and eat the same thing all the time I don't know I just feel like there's more hassle than gain but it's also because maybe I haven't traveled that much Papa have- Xanax just drink it yeah? Okay. okay, first class. That's Somewhere why. in between there. I don't think I can read this one. I don't think Ashley will let me. <laughs> well, I mean, you can. I just don't have an answer for it. What is it? I don't get small dicks. Oh. <laughs> well, they exist. Well, they're sad. Ask someone that has small titties, and they'll explain what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get why people will dislike something just because uh, it's popular, just like what you like. This is 
incredible. I feel like that's the foundation of the I Don't Get It podcast. That, that is also the world we're living in today. Yeah. I hate this. It, this person sucks, so let's all hate them. Yeah, it's yeah. like people who hate Taylor Swift. It's yeah. like, oh, they don't, they don't like her because, like, she's everybody likes her and to talk now that we're on taylor i know she's a polarizing subject i had a conversation with a friend about her documentary and i was telling her how much i learned and she was like hating on her and she has a right to never watch it obviously but to, she was saying all this stuff that she heard about the documentary on twitter and now you know what i mean and she was trying to build an argument as to why and i'm like I don't have time for this conversation. Yeah. You didn't watch it. That's kind of like when like, you hate. What? That's kind of like yeah. when you hate someone on The Bachelor without exactly. ever meeting them. Yeah. You have this edited version, and then you meet the real person, and then they're nothing like you expect. Yeah. Or, also, or it's funny. like when you're actually on The Bachelor, and everyone hates one person, and as soon as that person goes, then they hate one more person, and exactly. no one wants to be around. Yeah. It's called group think mentality, people. Because when you are separated from the herd, like this is psychological studies. When you're separated from the herd, that's the most terrible human emotion is to be isolated that's why people were excommunicated as like the worst Mm -hmm. thing that could absolutely happen to you and it's it's still relevant like it's just genealogy passed down like we don't we want to be with the herd we want to be together because it feels safer and i mean that goes with modern day and it's sad because you don't form opinions for yourself and you just tend to go with the flow but like, where's your identity? Like, she needs to watch Taylor Swift and form her own opinion. Exactly. Also, with or the she question, she doesn't need to, but don't the force question it down my throat. What you think about it if you didn't see it? With right? liking stuff just because other people like it, it's also because they just want to be unique. That's the only reason. It's but like, you're not. You're, you're not unique. You're, being yeah, you're actually yeah. being. A group We're all unique, like just like everyone else. <laughs> all right. Um, I, I put some down, but don't worry. We'll address it. We're we're going to take these unanswered questions in the bucket that remain and do a podcast episode with them. Okay. So thank you guys for giving us our podcast episode. Um, but this is a great way to end this segment. Um, this is I don't get why I can't think of any I don't get it. <laughs> Welcome to our week. <laughs> They'll come to you like on your ride home. All right. I'm going to bring my husband up here, Mr. Jared Haben, to join us in the question Ooh. and answer segment. Ooh. And you can, ow, ow. you know, we'll do this for like 10 minutes. He, Jared. You guys can ask anything you, and you can ask Jared um, any questions about man life, you know? Because I love those podcasts where we had the guys take over and be like, I don't get it, man edition. It was so informative. <laughs> you guys agree? Please hold yes. your applause. Nice I beg you. It. No, please don't make any noise. No, make please. Some noise for no applause. The oh, no boy. applause. The oh, you're not Tom Brady. <laughs> <The MC. laughs> That's a Jared. fair point. Nobody's Tom Brady. Are you guys Maybe tired I of me talking you. about Tom Brady? We're exhausted. Stop. So bad. You're sweaty. Wow, your hands are really sweaty. Hot up here. Sticky. Yeah, you nervous? have that effect on women. I've been holding my mic like this the entire time. There okay. we go. Court, you want to bring the mic around to do questions? Any male qu- questions. Any questions. Any questions. Any for anyone, yeah. The, the, Yes. The last guy podcast we did, I think, was Jason, myself, and Nick. Oh, Jason was on. Oh hey, shit! Courtney, this is not I, an attack on Jared. Can I get my phone or my bag? I don't think that one's on. Remember, I'm just a man. Phone. I don't represent men. Okay? I also. Guys are stupid. I understand this. I accept it. I am a dumb person. <laughs> Good exception. Good, Jared. Just like we uh, practiced. I yes. also met my husband on reality television. What? Really? Ooh. It was a different show. What was it? It was a different network. What show? What show? It was a different network. No, come on. Oh. Big Brother, Amazing Race, Celebrity, Fair Factor. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh. well, congratulations. I don't get why my fucking husband takes his clothes off, and gets naked, and leaves them all over the house. Oh, Jared, please Jared. answer. Jared doesn't do that. Yeah. I'm like the worst guy to ask these questions to. I'm neater than I Ashley. I, I don't walk around butt-ass <laughs> naked. I clean up we after myself. We have a myself. kid, Jared. We have a three-year-old. Oh well, congratulations. I don't get it. Can I tell you that Jared is never has never walked around naked in his life? Never ever. I think. What a missed I think, opportunity. I think guys just like. <laughs> what? Why are you married? <laughs> you know that's a great question to ask. Uh, I think but it guys drives me just, crazy because yeah, like this is my problem, gross. and I have a question. It's a real life question. Is like his hair it's all like, over the place? No, I mean when he shaves. But, like, this is a real question because, like, I come home, I clean, I'm, you know, I work. I'm a working mom, mm-hmm. and I clean, and then I come home, and his clothes are on the floor. Well, and tell I him know, to fucking wives, pick up after himself. Thank you, I do. I do, but, That's like, right. the guys don't get it. Like, mm-hmm. why don't they get it? Like, Jared, you're a guy, and why do they do that? Like, Crystal, you have a husband. Does your husband do that? 
Yeah, does Chris no, walk doesn't. around butt ass naked? <laughs> he does no, he's not, not, walk he's not naked. butt naked. But like, honestly, the real question is, is like, why do you guys just like take the clothes off? I mean, I have so many girlfriends. My girlfriends and I talk about this all the time. This is a real question. I don't, I don't think know. I'm the person I do to ask because I leave my I clothes everywhere. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's a personality <laughs> thing. It's a personality. Right? I don't think it's not a girlfriend. Yeah. I am guy so thing. OCD and neat. <laughs> yeah. And not and Jared, everyone up Jared here is. Fultz I'm not going to say who, but not everyone up here is. Wait, Lauren, so I am not a My underwear person. is in every corner of my house. And yeah, I don't why? Lauren, why do why? you get, do that? I'll clean it up when I have a big cleanup day. Doesn't it smell? Doesn't it smell? Fuck. What do you think? I shit my pants every day? It's fine. Don't you I'm like living in a clean with... place, though? Don't you want to come home and have everything organized? I smell. Nah, I think fuck people me, right? are rewarded, or like they're motivated by re- rewards. So maybe we can create a, you know, as the wife, Do you clean like up a little after him reward every system time? for your hubby. <laughs> totally. Stop cleaning yeah, up after him. Yeah, you're a working mom. Alexa just told me To clean up mm, after him, exactly. My mom did that with Lauren. She used to clean up her room. She also did that with Ashley, too, mm-hmm. but she still knows exactly. how to put it away. I would exactly. clean my own room. And I always thought the guy came, they just throw their stuff on the floor. And, like, it drives me off. It's not a guy thing, it's What's a gross a sign? thing. You know? So, it's like, a, just like. Okay, thing, it's we're thing. sorry your husband's like that. We can't tell you why. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's comfy. Well, he's listen, comfy. Oh. He, he, he needs to come Where's correct, his but... laundry hamper? Yeah. I'm not going to lie. I'm going like, to be in the dry every day there. when I get a ring on my finger. <laughs> You're going to leave it around? Yeah. yeah. I'm letting myself go. <laughs> you know what it is? Next. This is just it. Like, marriage is like, there's like give and takes to everything, and choose your battles. All right. Choose next your question. battles. Hi. Right? Any other questions? Hello. Hi. Hi, Ness. Hi. Hi, Zach. My question's for Crystal. And I want to know, what did you actually say on that bus? Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Spill the tea. You guys, I bus. was pissed. I was so mad um, at that. Because what you didn't see on the bowling alley, uh, the bowling date, was that we were... <laughs> Her lips like, trembling. Dangled. I'm it. like, where do I even begin? It was like they made us dance for two hours doing a victory dance while I had this banging headache. And I had just come off a 60-hour fast, by the way. And uh, Wait, why would you fast on well, The Bachelor? I did a fast while traveling because I was just super bloated from eating all the processed foods like pizza and lasagnas. I just didn't feel Just good. a quick 60-hour fast. It's fine. <laughs> so, so I'm like, you guys, I need to eat breakfast. And they're like, no, we're going on. The, like, okay, you can eat breakfast. And they take us to the bowling alley date. Did where Ari like, have a needle dick or not? <laughs> No, I have no idea. I have no idea. I, I let's just say I uh, I was just really upset. I was just really upset. Fair enough, thank you. You're welcome. I was all about Team Blue. I was all about Team Blue, and I was very angry. <laughs> Does anyone else have any other questions? Uh, okay. Yes, friend. Uh, two quick things, Jared. How did it feel with the Patriots losing to? <laughs> oh. And second, can we have some more champagne? And second one... Do we have tequila for that one instead? <laughs> second one, I don't get why is it so easy for guys to just simply dress so easily to go out, yet for us women, we have to dress to impress in a way, even if we're already with someone. Yeah. Like, why is that? Why is there, like, a double standard for that? Um, well, I, I'm, to be honest, from my personal experience, I'm not sure if there is a double standard, because, again... It is kind of personal choice. I think also just in society, it is easier for guys. You don't have to put makeup on. Like, I'm, I feel like I'm kind of dressed up right now. And I'm wearing <laughs> jeans, a shirt, and a hat. You know, it's just different. Where <laughs> Ashley takes a, a very long time to get ready a lot of times. Do you seriously think you're kind of dressed up right now? Yeah. I mean, co- honestly. There's like a dog hair on your head. Well, that's from Lois. But you know what I mean? It's just different. Like, guys can just throw on a jacket and they're good to go. So I'm not sure if it's technically a double standard. It's just kind of the way that it happens. And because a lot of females out there, some some girls take five seconds to get ready. I mean, I feel bad for him because he ends up doing like a lot more. <laughs> this is so stupid. But he does like a lot more housework and like do, like he always takes Lois out because like if it takes me an hour to go somewhere, then he's the one that's like unloading the dishwasher and taking Lois out. And like, I don't know. It's like all these little things that like he finds that time to do it. And I don't have that time because it's taken up by an extra hour of getting ready. Yeah. And I think that 
are you dressing up for the guy? Are you dressing up for everyone else that you're going to see, like, when you're out and about? Is a question, too. Because hmm. when you're comfortable in your skin, like, I just roll out of bed and go walk my dogs. Oh, you yeah. Know, no makeup on. Oh, yeah. Go I'm out. talking about if we're, like, in yeah. the at night and, like, it's mm-hmm. a real public So thing. just where's that internal motivation? Is it for to impress other people? Or is it because, like, you want to feel good? Yeah. It's probably both when you're married. Because, mm-hmm. like, I think it makes it special if I get ready for him now. Definitely. Whereas, like, before it wasn't special. You he get, just expected yeah. it. Do you get ready for girls or do you get ready for guys? I think most uh, girls get ready for, for girls. girls. Well, well I get ready. For, I just love makeup and clothes. I really do. I've always been that way. But, yeah, I think if you don't want if you it, don't enjoy the thing, process of getting ready, then don't, don't get ready. Don't fucking do yeah. it. Yeah. 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 I agree. Next girls one. getting ready for mm-hmm. other girls. <laughs> you know, I got I got one thing. Uh-huh. Why, why is it that Facebook bought Instagram so that when I go on Facebook, why can't I double tap a photo and like it? <laughs> I do that every time. Anyone else? Every time I go to double tap it, I'm like, what the hell? You know what I don't get? TikTok. Sorry, I was talking back there. We all know we have to get on TikTok. Yeah, I'm like, we all just grew like ten gray hairs. I disagree. Said. I think TikTok. The twins go away. are killing TikTok right now. Oh, yeah. I enjoy it. Emily and Haley Ferguson. I enjoy it. I what are, do you See, post TikTok? I don't post. I just watch. Us. They're funny. It's Vine. You're such guys. a stalker. It's you never Vine. post anything. You just watch everyone. That's I Vine. have an account, but I can't figure out how to get to my profile See? to like post anything. I'm like, I can't even. Don't even know how to search people. Like, just people come up. I know. Like, I just I watch. Don't come get up. it. Yeah. All like was gentle, and I felt this pressure. Updated, and we just didn't know what the hell to <laughs> so do. We gave up. Wait, <laughs> Snapchat <laughs> update. We no. all was like, oh fuck it, this is too hard. Totally. These Gen X things like Snapchat and now TikTok, like their formatting is horrible. Horrible. It's like some PC user made it not a Mac user. If someone here after the show would like to give us all a tutorial on how to use TikTok, please let Courtney know. Please help the, the old back. people on stage. Um, okay, but I see a question over there. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, so my question is, so I'm, as, as all of you are successful in your careers, um, Lauren does my hair too. Um, oh, oh, I remember seeing your before and after. Yep. yep. Um, Lori, you're rich. I, um, as a first-time manager myself in my job, how do you balance being a young woman but also being taken seriously? Mm. Because I've been called cute in the workplace, and it's the worst thing in the world. I fucking hate that word. I don't even like it's, it when Ashley and Lauren call me cute. Yeah. I feel like that's Not for great. dogs and babies. I want to be gorgeous, stunning, but, amazing, but why, brilliant. Why do you hate that word? I don't like it in the manner in which it was said because someone said basically that I was too young or too inexperienced to be in the level that I'm at. So it sounds condescending. Can I ask? She also doesn't like it because I'm not trying to be this person right now, but like no one's calling the guy cute at work. No one's doing that. Ageism is a real thing. I've experienced it multiple times and you need to stand your ground. I've gone into jobs where I just don't tell people how old I am. Mm -hmm. And your experience needs to speak for itself. I also look like I'm 16, so... Who fucking cares? You don't need Botox. You're winning. You're winning. Can I ask, do you feel... Like, a super honest question. Do you feel maybe that you are a little young for the job? Like, maybe there's a little insecurity there? Totally insecurity. Yeah. I totally feel imposter syndrome, but at the same time, I know that I've worked my ass off to get where I am, and I do deserve it. Yes. It's just this weird balance of... Like, I am the youngest manager at my company. That's yeah. awesome. That oh, yeah. is so badass. Like, I know. Like, it, it, it's that balance of, like, I've worked my butt off and I got there because I graduated college early and I... Because mm-hmm. you, you work for it. Amazing. But I also am, like, age-wise, I'm young. Mm-hmm. I get it. Mm-hmm. So That's great. You are a hustler for your age. Yeah. So I, there's a saying that says, what's true, what I see in you is true in me. And so when people say things that trigger you in a way, it's because there's an element that you believe it to. Okay. And so it's important just to kind of recognize that and just say, hey, maybe I have an insecurity here and just to discover that. And because maybe someone's giving you a compliment and you just know deep down that you've earned it and you worked your ass off and you deserve to be celebrated. And yeah, you are adorable. <laughs> and you are, you know, working really hard in this world. So just celebrate yourself and don't take it personally. Just, you know, grow from it. 
You it's got it. Probably because yeah. they're also insecure with themselves for calling. Or maybe you. they're just giving yeah. her a compliment. They could be giving her a compliment, or they're and, a and they don't mean it maybe. that way. Because maybe yeah. for them, they think it's it's they like saying someone's cute because the, like they like being called cute. So maybe there's just uh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Totally. It's just how you're interpreting it. I also feel like everyone has imposter syndrome. Remember that you brought up like that Oz quote that Jim Carrey always says? You always bring it up. I love that quote. It's just... Go ahead. No, it's very dumb for me to say. I think I... You don't have to say it. No, it's... But basically, everyone's trying to act... You know what I mean? There's like an I and then there's like a me to get really deep and it's like that voice in our head. But we're all like second guessing ourselves every day Mm. of the week, every second, everything. Like, should I have more champagne? Should, should I talk now? Should I let Ashley talk? Like, there's a million ga- game time decisions oh, that are so going nice on right to here. Turn that off. <laughs> It'd be amazing, right? So you just, mm. you got to push through it and just know you're fucking amazing. And that's why we made the I Don't Get a Podcast, because we all don't fucking yeah. get it. And so, uh, pretty Jared, much, give us the quote. Well, pretty much the quote goes that everybody tries to put a persona out into the world and, and give qualities that they want people to see themselves as. And pretty much putting yourself out there as if you're the Wizard of Oz, when in actuality, you're just the sweaty person behind the curtain, desperately trying to hold everything up. And one small move, everything you feel like will just collapse on top of you. But the truth is, a lot of people feel that way. And so I think to remind yourself of that, uh, even when someone's putting on a facade that they're the most confident person in the world, just always remember that they're, they're, they're probably uh, one move away from just everything collapsing as well. And so that's that what is I was trying really to... really powerful metaphor. Yeah. Wow. I well, yeah. I mean, you know, Jim Carrey's a powerful man. I <laughs> love Jim Carrey. I love him. Okay, we'll take two more questions. Is that about right, Court? Where are you? Right here. Oh. <laughs> Front and center. <laughs> we got Bria. Mike right here. Oh. Hi, I'm Bria. Lauren, yeah. does my hair also? <laughs> Hi. Um, this is getting favorite. ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nikki's next, Mixie's next. So I'm so of, proud of you, Lauren. Can we just give it up for Lauren? She started like, yeah. Yeah. Look how great like, you're killing hair. it. Thank you, guys. You're killing <laughs> it. Everyone up here is killing it. I'm curious to get Crystal's insight on this. Um, I don't get clicks in the work in the workplace. Um, like my four coworkers, they're all in their 30s. Um, two of them have kids, um, and every day they all go to lunch together. The four of them, they never invite me. I ask them all the time oh, we should go to lunch together, get to know each other better. And they're like, oh, we have a lot on our plate. Like yesterday I asked them, or no, no, this morning actually. And then they took a three-hour lunch today after they were like, oh, we have a lot going on right now. We don't have time for lunch. Um, They don't say good morning to me, like nothing. Um, And then like I know that they don't like me and I know like I'm great and they never even take a chance to try to get to know me at all. How do you not let that, and like how does that, how do you not let it affect how you feel about yourself knowing like 40 hours a week you're with these girls that in a sense, bully you. Yeah, that is, can be a really intense feeling. Um, I personally went through that for like 30 days straight on The Bachelor. Yeah. Which is funny because now I like run 30 day challenges. So that was one of my 30 day challenges. Uh, it's really tough. Um, it doesn't feel good to feel rejected and excluded and not feel good enough by people. But I think just deep down, you just gotta, like what I was saying earlier is, not let your opinion of yourself be dictated by other people. And you know what? Those girls are, they're missing out on getting to know you. Because, like, I see your light and how you're showing and sharing and being open and vulnerable. And that sucks that they're, they're missing out on that. And I think for you, like, in my opinion, or, like, my advice would be, Maybe just try to open up to them, at least to one of them, and get to know them on a little bit of a deeper level. And, I mean, one way is also they say, uh, when you have an enemy, when you have a a common goal, you can be friends with your enemy. Uh, I mean that a little bit in a joke, but try not to put yourself down. Know that you're a badass. And maybe that's not the right work environment for you. I yeah. love my job. Like, I love what I do. I love my boss. It's just my coworkers make me feel like. Depressed. How many? How have many... you talked to them about it? My boss actually held a meeting where we all sat in a circle and talked about. Uh, my boss confronted everybody how they bully me. And I didn't say anything to my boss. She did it, said, did it, uh, did it as a witness, saying, You all are acting like high schoolers. Wow. And try to get them to say what their issue was with me. 
um, the main girl that's mean basically said her issue was my medical condition and my food allergies. What? Wow, that a reason is not to go to lunch. So with someone. What job do you? What do you do? I work in the fashion industry. Yeah. Oh. Well, Why would you want to be friends with them. these people? Yeah. Wait, what don't you don't invest any allergies? effort or time into these people. Pretend you're yeah. nice for a day. Fuck everyone. You don't need to hang out with those people. Mm -hmm. Bria, you're amazing, and you everyone here. Yeah, everyone here loves you. Everyone yeah. loves you. Everyone knows you're amazing. So but, really, don't worry. But we about don't want to invalidate bitches. your feelings because that. No, is, that why is, do you want to be friends with? Like, why do you want to feel accepted? By everyone them? wants it to just, feel like they it's belong. Just like, I have trouble like not have um, like I try not to care what other people think, but I do care, and like I don't understand why they don't like me. Like they never even tried to know me. Mm -hmm. And my dad actually told me yesterday. He was like, "Would well, you want to go to dinner or lunch with a homeless person?" Like. They're homeless. They're trash. They don't care to like get to know you. Like so, they're not like someone you want to. <laughs> and I was like, Dad, that's a really weird analogy. But like he's, he's like this. Just like the fact like there are people that you want to go to lunch with and you don't want to go with lunch yeah. with. Like, I don't know. But like I just want to feel like they. Don't, I work in a small office for coworkers. They don't even talk to me. Even when I need to say something work related, they won't talk to mm. me. Mm, that sounds so tough. Let me think about that, and I'll come find you after, and we'll yeah, talk about my, it. Yeah, I would say try yeah. to distract yourself, because don't put effort into people that aren't willing to put effort into you, and these people obviously suck, especially if your boss held a meeting, and they had an entire discussion about this. So I know it's really difficult, and it's hard, but try to distract yourself at work. Uh, so instead of going to lunch with these people, maybe try to schedule lunch with a friend that's nearby or something along those lines. Yeah. I know it sucks because you have to put effort into it, yeah where it could be just so easy because you could just have friends that you work with. But, um, yeah, they can just go straight to hell. Right. Yeah, they ignore yeah. Ignoring they people yeah. also works wonders. Just ignore them. Yeah, just, they don't give them any more brain or heart space. Mm -hmm. It's not worth it. Does anyone here have any advice? Yeah? I've been there for three years. Um, no, one of them's nine years. The other one's like six months and one of them's three months. Yeah, they're just bitches. Herd mentality. Oh, she said, "I'll be your friend." Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Mm -mm. I just okay. pulled up. Yeah, one of these you can't cards. win them all. You know what? You can't win Do them you all. You have one. It's... Absolutely. Yeah, put it into yourself and work on you. It's more so like not. Yeah. It's just hard to not let it affect how I feel about myself. Yeah, that's 100% yeah. true. Yeah. I'm sorry. We get that. All right, we have our last question up here, my friend from the bathroom. My friend from the bathroom. <laughs> um, my question's for Naz and I guess Ashley, too. Um, it's kind of like, do you speak Spanish? Si, yo hablo español. Oh, never mind. But I feel like I'm in the gray area. Like, mm. people see me, like, they automatically assume, like, I speak Spanish. Mm. And... Going into, like, I've been to news conferences because I'm a broadcast major like you. Yeah. And I've been told, like, yeah, like, you could be really good. Like, just take some English classes. And it's like, <laughs> what did you do? Like, I need to take Spanish classes. And it's kind of like, and then they've, um, Latinas have said in, like, panels, like, you need to get ready because they just want a Caucasian face on, like, E! News. And, mm. the, like, they only want you on Telemundo. And it's like, mm. okay, you have to know Spanish because you can only do the Spanish news. And it's like, Dude, I literally grew up here, and I grew up watching, like, Julian Rancic. Like, why can't I cover, like, yeah. my region where I grew up from? So it's kind of like, I don't get that. Yeah, I think being, let me tell you, being, being, do you speak Spanglish? Yeah. Okay, so me too. So a lot of us do, right, and there are a lot of accounts on Instagram called Me Too, which a lot of us who are second generation, yes, okay, um, we go through this, right? Because I don't speak fluent Spanish, but I speak enough Spanish. And a lot of times people have said, well, you don't speak broadcast Spanish. And so it's this weird thing where um, sometimes I get hired and I'm like, am I getting hired because my last name is Perez or is it because I'm good? So I, I struggle with that a lot. And then other times I'm like, my own community doesn't even consider me to be Latina because I can't finish something in Spanish. But I will tell you, it is getting so much better. I'm so happy you asked me this question today. This morning, I interviewed the cast of Narcos Mexico, which is one of um, Netflix's like biggest shows. And Rotten Tomatoes asked me to ask Diego Luna a question in Spanish. And I was like, this is like fucking epic. And I called my mom and I was like, mom, how do I say this? Like, do I say it right? I don't know if anyone saw The Farewell. Did anyone see that movie with Aquafina in it? 
it's amazing because she's like this Chinese speaking woman and she there's a moment in the movie where she she's speaking at like her cousin's wedding and she's like, Dad, how do I say this word? And I was like, yes. So I feel like we're, we're sort of on this cusp of where we're going to have our moment now, where we're these people where we begin sentences like, hola, mami, ¿cómo tal? I'm so good. How are you? You know? <laughs> so whenever people ask me if I speak Spanish, I'm like, I'm a little bit of Camila Cabello J-Lo, you know? Like, I'm yeah. not fully Spanish, but it doesn't make you any less Latina, and you should be super proud of it. And, and when people come up to me at the grocery store or... or people assume that I'm Spanish, like older people, and they ask me something in Spanish. I feel so like, I feel like I'm at home. I'm like, oh, this person like literally like is trusting me to help them, you know, find directions or something. So I wouldn't be offended by it. I would use it as a strength. I think it's a part of who you are. Just like, you know, they're Italian and you know, Crystal's white, right? Yeah, like that's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. No, yeah, it is. I'm going to do my 23 and me test. <laughs> but really whatever we out. are, it's amazing, right? And it's a part of you, and you're, you're going to use it. I meant that in such a great... I love white people. <laughs> I mean it in the sense of, like, it is a part of you, and you need to use it, and it's going to help you in whatever you do. And it doesn't matter if you are or aren't. So I don't think you should think of it as a thing. I think you should just think of yourself as who you are. Does that make sense? I think that was a great yes. way to end the podcast. And it's getting better. That, that's what I just want to tell you. It's getting better, and well, we're getting Remember, like, share... Yeah grew up and everyone was blonde and blue eyed and she was different and she was really insecure of who she was but she's Kardashians yeah and they're icons so celebrate who you are and celebrate your beauty because it's who you are and you were made this way for a reason thank you yeah she's amazing all right you guys well thank you so much again for joining us I hope you had fun um we'll be hanging around and obviously chatting with all of you for like the next half an hour or so and um, don't forget to get the candy over there and check out the amaryllis yeah. um, clothes over there and the um i buy direct sunglasses heart-shaped sunglasses so cute in the back don't forget all the goodies and we also have here. a photo booth back there oh, buy yeah. some drinks um thank you again to amaryllis we love you we love your clothes your galentine's clothes is amazing what? we are at the w los angeles everyone this is a hotel a maybe right this is your next stay Staycation. maybe this is your next lay we don't thank know you. But and on the count of three, can you guys say, I don't get it? Yeah, yeah. Let's do On it. the count of three, really loud, like, I want spirit I mean, hands I throwing I mean, glitter. I this. All right, ready? Yeah. Wait. Someone count me down, water boy. Three, <laughs> two, one. I, I don't, don't get, get it. it. Where are the glitter hands? <laughs> oh. Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay, for your um, I Buy Direct, just DM them. Happy Galentine's Day. It's on your roses, and you get a free pair. So don't forget oh, to do yeah, that. Yeah. Wait. There, oh, wait. I have... Oh, wait. Oh, where's my... Coat? Courtney, stand up. Right we want to thank you, Courtney. 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 This is Courtney. Stand up. Look at everyone right She's now. She's the goat of Ooh, today. Everyone. Stand up. This is Courtney. Well, everyone. Slim Shady. She did Woo! this whole thing. She, she did, did the entire all. thing. Courtney also started our Facebook group, and she's really just been someone that's always believed in us, and truly tonight wouldn't have happened without you, genuinely. Can I tell Thank a little you so funny much. story, you guys? <laughs> yes, come on. So one time, she, well, she was living in San Francisco, and she was visiting LA, and she kept tweeting me all day long. She was like, <laughs> hi, my name is Courtney. I'm your biggest fan. I'm going to the Grove today. Hey, I'm at the Grove right now. Where are you? Like, over and over again. And I was like, oh my God, this girl's nuts. And at first, it was funny, and I was actually actually thinking about responding but then i was like okay now i'm not really sure but then later in the day without even thinking we ended up being grove. at the grove and then she comes up to me and she goes ashley it's me courtney i've been tweeting you all day long <laughs> and then she says like one day i'm gonna work for you and like it's, what you do is like exactly what I, the kind of business i want to work in one day and then literally fast forward like a year and a half she was like our podcast like manager, uh, man, a producer, producer. Oh, and so um, cool. she works with she. We don't go a day without a text from Courtney, and I say that with love. <laughs> so thank you, Courtney. Yes, Yay, Aww, Courtney. that's a great story. And if you guys live in LA, come to Heartbroken Anonymous on Valentine's Day. If you're heartbroken or alone. Um, heartbrokenanonymous.com. Wait, yeah. wait. I need to know where my code is because I have a special code for you guys for flowers. <laughs> you oh, guys no. know, you know how we um, had that really that cool Oops. bachelor watch party the other day 
Jared's is Books. out. Books. Cool boy, remember? So cool if you guys boy. know the flower app, Books, I got 20% code for my listeners and you guys here, and I just told them I would give it to you. Send a guy flowers on Valentine's Day. That's what I mean. Like, I actually... Don't this, text them, but send them flowers. This is the time of year where everybody <laughs> can really use a, a discount code for flowers, so I'm just one second. <laughs> And Troy, my wedding planner, um, don't leave without your gift. I got him a very silly thing in Iceland. Okay. So if you guys go to Books.com, uh, download the Books app. It's an app. Um, B-O-U-Q? Um, That's... Um, are they so cool? They're These I buy direct. part of the I buy direct glasses, Okay. Go to Books.com slash Ashley and use the promo code Ashley. Books, B-O-U-Q-S dot com. Slash Ashley, promo code Ashley, and I believe it's 20% off. So, oh, nope, it's 30% off. And you'll get flowers in time for Valentine's Day. Send your man Valentine's Day bouquet. Thank you. Rate and subscribe and join our Facebook group. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. 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 And Instagram. Bye. 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 I don't get it. Podcast.